spend a little bit of time this morning talking about some course development I'm planning to do before the fall semester starts. I've been making some video blogs or tutorial things about making OERs and uh, using our vertical package for psych research projects. Here I'm just going to talk more generally about something I'm doing right now in case other people find this useful. So back in 2019, I created a course for our master's program called uh, Using R for Reproducible Research. This is the course website. Um, I made this website using R Markdown. And so we got like a syllabus schedule. This is basically what we did in the course every week. I uh, put some videos up and some link to some general resources for R and lots of other stuff here. Uh, I'm about to teach a lab component for a uh, stats course uh, for our master's program. And I need to make that course uh, before we start in the fall. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to make a lot of the content as we go, but uh, I'm sitting here thinking, well, I've already made this one course website. What should I, how, how can I use this uh, for the next course? What I decided to do actually was make use of package down. So I've, I've, I've got all this content here, but in the course that I'm making right now, I decided that I would simply uh, use initialize a package down project and then make a course website off of that. So uh, here's kind of what it looks like right now. It's, I guess, building the this thing and yeah so this will look like a website you would see for an R package and what I'm planning to do is build this out this semester to uh, make our lab course curriculum for stats one uh, I've already got a syllabus put up here and everything else needs to there's nothing else here yet uh, I'm going to change this to probably the lab so for example just to get in there, I'm going to edit the package down YAML. I don't want something, was it articles? All right. Okay, so that currently says supplementary. I'm going to want that to say labs. And when I rebuild this, let's just do the home. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a list here that's going to say lab one, lab two, lab three, lab four, all the way down to the end. Um, not sure if I'm gonna have slide presentations yet or not. I'll be, this isn't up yet on GitHub, but at some point I'll make this uh, emerging curriculum more available. Um, our plan is to, uh, so I'm teaching this, co-teaching this with a colleague at Brooklyn College. Uh, she's doing the main stats course and I'm developing content for the lab we're planning to create uh, labs that go in tandem with our curriculum that focus on both learning R, but uh, learning basic stuff in R that actually help you learn the statistics concepts. So we're gonna be focusing a lot on using simulation in R, sampling from distributions and whatnot to uh, learn about fundamental statistical phenomena. So more to check in with here. I just thought it'd be interesting to point out some of the development workflow I'm doing using Package Down to create this course website. Um, just to say a little bit more about that, I guess, when you, so this is the source code for writing an R package, really. And I'm just kind of writing off of that structure. And what is going to happen probably is I'll place uh, course content in the vignettes folder. And whenever you have uh, our markdown files in here, uh, these will all get knitted into a web page that goes in the docs folder and it's available under the articles folder. Um, and so 
for example, I'll have in here my syllabus, my schedule, and uh, probably, let's see, I'm probably just going to use the main vignettes folder to add individual labs. Um, for example, I wonder if I could just quickly make a lab or a getting started one just to show an example of adding something here. Uh, let's see, what would I need to do? I need to go, actually, let's do new session. And I'm going to find the old website, which is this one, it's like 7709. Oh, oh no, fatal error. What was that about? Okay, well, it worked. We got there. And I remember I wanted to take some stuff. Oh, shit. actually, now I remember. Let's go back. The thing that I want is actually the beginning of the schedule. There's a little getting started piece of information that I want to make available. I'll have to edit this later, but I'm just going to copy all this stuff that I had from before. I'm going to go into vignettes. And how about we could use this uh, method, use the use this method of creating a vignette. So use, how does that work? Use this, oh, I need two of those. Jeez. Use vignettes. And I think we give it a name like this. So I'm going to say uh, pre-lab. Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, uh, getting started. How about that? Not a valid file name. Uh, how about this one? OK, that'll work. So now we have a getting started vignette, we're ready to go. In this case, I'm not loading a library. I do want to copy this stuff. Put that here. Press save. I'm just going to use package down to build build the articles and that's going to render all the RMD files that are in the vignettes folder. So we should have a getting started page here. Um, and the way I have things set up is this page is not getting printed automatically to the list of things in, this would normally be the vignettes tab. Um, let me just play around a bit here with package down. You can do this by hand. So the, under the, the articles tab here that is titled labs, we can add things. So we could say getting started and then point to the getting started HTML file that should be in articles right there. And that's a quick way to add this stuff. So there it is, getting started. So I'll be adding more labs and things like that. I believe there's a more convenient way to do this if you want to get away from having to write the YML by hand. Oops, did I just, I think I went back into a different RStudio. I'm just gonna close that. Yeah, uh, it's possible that if I just delete all of this, let's see what happens. It'll say articles. Oh yeah, right, okay. Yeah, if I delete it all, it will 
list all of the R Markdown documents that are in the vignettes folder, and that might not be in the order that I want them to be in. So I guess I'm going to have to go with the other solution uh, for now. So undo that, save that, rebuild. All right, this is getting a little bit longer than what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many people are using package down to, to make course websites, but it looks like it could work out pretty well. I think that uh, a background cool thing here is that because this is writing off the R package structure, if I want to create an R package that might be useful for this course, uh, for example, I could deliver tutorial content or other forms of documents through a, an R package install. Students could come here, they could install this package um, and then have a quick way of downloading data files and things like that. I would have to set that all up, but it would be um, available and kind of like part of the same project that I'm working on. Uh, yeah, all right. I guess wish me luck developing this course this semester. And let's play it with some OB6. Mm -hmm. Thank you.